three, two, one. Hey guys, it's us in CA. No casuals allowed for the finale of Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. Oh man, only four episodes long. This is a mini series. Yeah. Um, I'll play as Toad in the last cut, but I'm going as my other main right now, Luigi. Yeah. I already played in the Wild Wing, but I'm honestly, I'm trying to decide. He has a good one. He, his bikes look good. Yeah. I'm gonna go with my old main though, Piranha Prowler. What did you used to play when you played Luigi? Wild Wing. I'll probably pick it again. Because, yeah. What started by Ambrose? Is yeah, I mean, played as Peach in the Wild Wing earlier, but... Yeah. yeah. Do you ever have those figures of like them in the Wild Wing? No. I never had figures of... Oh. Actually, that's not true. I had these little wind-up cars that you pull back and they shoot. Yep. It's so like... It's no, but they were just the standard ones that I had. Oh. I remember the ones with the wild wing, not the ones with the standard. And I burned out. And then somewhere, I have a figure of um, Mario Kart Double Dash where you're supposed to, like, they're supposed to make more figures and they're supposed to be, like, interchangeable, but they only ever made Mario. And that's how you go from 12th to 2nd. <laughs> I really wish... PD Piranha was brought back into a Mario Kart game. Yeah. Or Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Funky Kong. Diddy Kong, that's a disservice. He needs... He, if anyone should be, he should be back. Because he's in, like... Him and Birdo. Yeah. Mike, because... Why hasn't Cranky Kong been in a Mario Kart game? I don't know. I, th I feel like that'd be a golden opportunity, because... We need the Kongs back, because there's not really any spinoff games that have them. They cut Waluigi from the only game he consistently appears in. He's not in 7, though. That was... That was stupid. Yeah, why do we have Link, but not freaking... Actual characters that started in Mario. Yeah. In the game. Why do we have Wart? Oh my god! That would be awesome! <laughs> Wart and Mauser? And like, what's the, two, what's the two-headed snake, dude? I forgot his name. Pi four. Yeah. No, it's not. No way. I'm so Ninjago. Oh my God, you're running. <laughs> That's also a so much trick you. That's also a nostalgic show. Well, like considering the first I seasons, didn't know, then it got really bad. I was thinking about Ninjago too. The first two seasons are okay. Like. I mean, no, the first like, season's the best. The I second one is... Let's be honest, if we went back and watched them today, they sucked. It's a Lego show. I doubt it was good storytelling. But, the nostalgia, man. Yeah. Zane was my favorite. And then it was Jay, and then it was Zane Cole. Zane died, though. I know. Is, was Zane your favorite? Cole. Cole? Cole's pretty cool. I'm sure you can figure out why, considering you know me. Have you seen their redesigns? Yeah, I know. I think you're the one that showed me their redesigns, I actually. I am. Their redesigns, I... Mm. Also, if they wanted to piss people off, good job. Now I know that this game takes place later in the timeline. Because PD Piranha, like, is dead. And Boo is now King Boo. Meaning that there's been another side... Wait... Or was King Boo in Double Dash? Was he? I don't know. I don't know if it was Boo or King Boo. That was his partner. Also, why do we never get the Luigi's Mansion King Boo design? Like, it's the coolest. I like the Mario Sunshine one, too. We never, like, see that Boo design anymore, either. Yeah. Move you highway. Oh, man, the better Toad's Turnpike. We see this very vanilla, like, King Boo design, and it's boring. Dark Moon has a pretty good one, too. Yeah. I want another Luigi's Mansion game for the Switch. That'd be really cool. I think it'll happen. I think this one... I've never fully played through a Luigi's Mansion. I've never played the original, and I played... NCA. I played, like, 30 minutes of Dark Moon, because I borrowed it I, from somebody. I'm sure we'll end up on NCA doing the original Luigi's Mansion at some point. Because it's a short... <laughs> that'd be a mini-series, honestly. 
Yeah, I know it's a short game because like Tyler and Josh's versus is like four or five episodes or something like that. No, I think it's a little longer than that, but it's shorter than Sunshine if you're not getting everything. So if you get everything in either game, then it gets it gets long. I don't think we'll ever do a game where we do a completion. Let's play, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, how do you feel about Dark Souls Remastered? Do you care? Are you excited for I, it? I might get it. Switch? I don't know. It's I, one of those B-listers to me. Like, I don't... I'll get it. Let's, I, let, me just, money. let me just say this. But there's other games I'm going to get first. Street Fighter Anniversary. I've Street never Street played... Street played Anniversary. Like, I've never played Dark Souls, so I don't really have a yeah. connection to it. And I never really wanted to. I, I don't think it's a bad series. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like super hard games like that are meant to screw with you yeah but i do think it's good that the switch is getting something like that yeah we like need more third to it. we need those popular third parties and dude i keep getting like actually bad luck with this oh man like, it's all right that's what's gonna that's what made the wii successful that's the only reason the game had a modicum of success considering it was up against the ps2 is that they got those exclusive Capcom deals. And I, I'm i just going to say this now, and I'm not sure if it'll end up being this way for sure, but I think, it, for anyone who doesn't know, in my opinion, the um, Nintendo like console with the best library of games is the GameCube, but I think the Switch could surpass it. I think the best Nintendo console to come out is the Wii. So, hear me out. It... What a what a like seller, you know? Yeah. Sold super well. Like it, what, it was a good idea that worked out for them, but it could never work now. Yeah. Ten years ago, it worked well. Now, eh, not so. I mean, much. they tried it a few years later. And that's why the Wii U bombed. The Wii U wasn't as innovative though, if you think about it, because it didn't like push motion controls that much. Um, yeah, but it introduced asymmetric gameplay, which. It was innovative at first, and then it just kind of stopped. Let me just say, the Wii was a great console. The marketing was terrible. That's why it yeah. failed. Most no people thought, support. There's people who thought it was just a like add-on that gave you the game. Pack. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was an add-on at first. Like that's how bad it was marketed. Mm -hmm. So, and the only reason I got it was because of Link Between Worlds. That's the only reason I have a Wii U. Bowser Castle. Wait, Link Between Worlds. I told you the story, right? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. I don't know if I told it on NCA. I don't think you did. I'll tell it again. Anyway, um, so the game that got me back into, like, gaming was Link Between Worlds, because I saw it at GameStop, and it looked cool, and I thought it was Ocarina of Time 3D. You have to keep in mind that I, did, I didn't know anything about it. Like, my knowledge was very minimal about games at that point. So I thought it was Ocarina of Time 3D, and I was like, I remember playing that game one Christmas, so I wanted it again. It wasn't Ocarina of Time 3D, but I loved Link Between Worlds so much that I, like, played through the whole game in, like, a weekend. And, um... I'm trying to think. There's very few games you've done that with. And, uh... Then, that was around the time Wind Waker HD was coming out. And so, on YouTube, I saw the ads for Wind Waker HD, and I thought it was a sequel to Link Between Worlds or something. Um, so, I realized, I was like, how can I get Wind Waker? They're like, there's a GameCube version. My mom's like, he has a GameCube. And I was like, then he was like, eh, but they're, those copies are kind of hard to come by nowadays. He's like, we're trying to sell this Skylanders bundle, Swap Force Wii U. Um, we'll give you, we'll bundle in, worth it. We'll, no, we'll bundle in Link Between Worlds for, f Link Between Worlds, Wind Waker HD for free. And I was like, heck yeah, because Christmas had just come, so I had money. my money. I was broke after that, though, but it was worth it. It was worth the buy. I love the Wii U. Except for Swap Force. I've never played Swap Force. Never even took it out of the case. Swap Force is... I mean, it's technically probably the best Skylanders, like, of the original trilogy. Like, if you look at just objectively, that has the least, like, heart. And so, I do not like it. I've never played it, so... I'm sure that we'll end up doing that eventually. But the biggest problem is one tiny change ruined it. You can jump. 
You can jump. Yeah, you you don't. It's That's what I kind of liked about the original Skyland, is because you were forced to go on different paths and stuff yeah. and find a way through the level. Like, if you have never played the original two Skylanders, you couldn't jump in them. And so, you don't realize how much of a difference it makes until the difference is made. It, but, I guess you could complain the same about Breath of the Wild, but to me, that's not a out of the blue Zelda game. That's a different beast. Not so. to mention it was it wasn't marketed like it was the same as the others. Yeah. Not to mention Swap Quest is just so much of a Have shorter you... game. Oh yeah. And like climbing is a big part of Breath of the Wild and stuff, so you need to be able to jump. But yeah. Have you seen Alan Ember like being interviewed for like Breath of the Wild or something? And he had a younger team with him. Yeah. And he was like they were like, why do we have to program Link not to jump? And he's like, I don't know. Can we make Link jump? He's like, that's just how it's been throughout all this time. They're like, well, let's do something different. That's the Mark an Innovator right there. And he's like, you know what? Okay. Innovation. And what do you know, game of the year. Right? Game of the year. Like. <laughs> and then the other jumping game came out, and it was like jumping on steroids. Mario Odyssey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario Odyssey is a great 3D platform. I think it's my second favorite 3D, but that's only because Sunshine has so much nostalgia for me. But Obje objectively, it's the best. Yeah. But that's kind of expected, because it's the newest. Eh. I don't know. There's a lot of people that... It, there's, like, split on split. Who, did, who they think is... It's okay. Oh, look at his little face, though. He's cute. Someone said it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I, I know Mario Odyssey is the best. I like sixty four the best. Like, just because I feel like sixty four you can pick up and play better since it lets you replay stars and stuff and doesn't just have them out in the open like it resets at all. You know. So like if. I want to play Secret Slide, or, like, Secret on the side of the mountain. Like, I can go do those, and not just run up to them and get them. I have to go through the whole process over again. Yeah. I, I like, I like that about 64. Here's the thing about 64. And it's not linear. Yeah. I like Sunshine. That's the reason I don't like Sunshine very yeah, much. Yeah, I... I get that. That's a that's a legit complaint. Um, Uses a mushroom. If Sunshine let you get any shine you wanted in any order, which through like glitches and stuff, you can technically do that, but but not the average. Yeah, player. not not the average player. I I get that complaint. It's that's a fair. If that would probably make Sunshine my favorite. Sunshine also there's like no incentive really to get every star because in 64 you you need star you need a certain amount of stars to mark boards and stuff yeah. but you can get whatever stars you want in sunshine in every level you have to chase down shadow mario which is always the seventh shine and to do and once you do that you unlock corona mountain the final area and you can go fight bowser and beat the game so there's like no incentive really to do any delfino shines or get the blue coins unless you although when you beat the game 100%, it gives you a different uh, end screen, but that's about it. Whoa. And there's a little mark by your file. Although, it's not like 64 adds so much when you beat it, but... But here's the thing. I think Odyssey has the best in-game stuff, honestly. But here's the thing. The movement and stuff in Sunshine compared to 64, I just like a whole lot better. I, I disagree, but... And Perfect. Flood is... I, I really love Flood. I like Flood. I, I like the idea of Flood. I feel like he gets repetitive in his uses. Like, I wish they did more with him. You have to be... Oh, man. You were saying? You have to... I don't know. I like Sunshine better than 64. I. Here's the thing, though, that really surprises me. You look at 64... And you look at Sunshine, and they both came out at the beginning of their console generation, so they're about a console generation apart. That That is a jump. Like, and Mario Sunshine looks better on the Wii, even, than, like, the GameCube, so... 
The GameCube is a little darker tint, but yeah. I love Mario Sunshine. It's just I love 64 too. Don't don't get it twisted. Like, and also when I said that, I'm specifically referring to 64 DS. Because yeah. even though I don't, D do you see how it's on? Yes. This race has not been. These last two races have not been kind to me. I've been kind of zombie racing. Because I'm, I'm caught up in our conversation now. I like. I am too. Like I've been zombie racing, to be honest. But. I really like this Rainbow Road. It's one of my favorites. It's the most nostalgic, although that might not be a good thing, considering. I don't know about you. I had a lot of trouble with this with this course when I was younger. Oh yeah. Also, I like how someone put a fake item box right out there, so there's no time to dodge it. It was you, wasn't it? Yes. But, okay, it wasn't my fault, because a pow block happened, and yeah. it shook it. But, if it makes you feel better, I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God! <laughs> Mario Kart Wii, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> None of this is my fault! Literally nothing that happened was my fault! And I still came in third, I was only one point off. And look, we're not even racing with anything, but when you're, when you're racing to unlock something, you... I've, I've been known to punch the TV before because of this game. Yeah, I, I've seen you punch the TV because No, the worst part is, literally none of that was through my fault! <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Oh, last cup. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to it. Going with some Toad. And I'm racing in the Mini Beast, because oh. this is my old mate. That actually looks like Petey Piranha, though. He's green. See, I told you it looks awful. Mm. Ew, oh, oh, wait. Hold on, wait. I don't mind that one, but it's too much blue. I like this. Alright, this is my old nostalgic main cart combo, so I'm going with that to end this series off with. I don't really have one, because in a lot of games, as some of you might know, I like to switch up what I do. Like, switch. Yeah, I can Injustice 2, I play a lot of characters, and... I still need to play Enchantress. I downloaded her Tuesday. I haven't even downloaded her yet. <laughs> She just doesn't interest me that much. And we're not on that Injustice bug anymore yet, so... Yeah. We... we I've been playing It's because the friends that said they would get it don't have it. Um... Who are flexing up in our street. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where is... Oh wait, you don't even know that reference. Anyway, if you if you flex up in our stream and then you flex like you're gonna beat us, get the game. Yeah, I feel like you're calling people us. out at this point. Though. No, I am. I absolutely am. <laughs> you can't just flex on somebody and then be like, "Oh man, I'm not gonna get it." And I was like, "Well, like the other one has an excuse." You yeah, know? but Caleb Martinez, I'm talking to you, okay? Because he didn't flex in our stream, but Caleb Martinez yeah. did. So. And then there's one other person who's going to get it soon. He just hasn't been able to go to the store yet. So, we'll get... That'll put us at, like, five guild members, which will be pretty good. I always forget that's a hairpin turn, and I need to drift through it. Which one? I would never play this stage, because it's just so bland. Me neither. Although that's the thing with a lot of the um, SNES tracks. Although Donut Points is great, like in eight. They've gotten better at retro tracks over. What'd you hit? I got a um, ricochet shell. Like if I get shell sniped, that's one thing, because that takes skill. Ricocheting a shell does not. You know. Oh, you know what I hate about like Mario Kart 8 the green shells are so dangerous because they ricochet like crazy <laughs> no, 
<laughs> Donkey Kong. Head. Donkey Kong. He hit it. He hit my box. Oh man, only three races left. <laughs> Just gonna say, I want this time together. And I'm gonna miss you. Now, how about next time as we play Monkey Ball versus and actually hate each other? <laughs> I tried to get him to play Monkey Ball last night and he refused. Probably because I played this, the, the, what's it yeah. called? The triangle board thing. I, I, I don't know the official jump. name. Peg Jump. I love Peg Jump. So do I. This used to be like my favorite course for some reason. Me too. I really like it. My throat still tastes like blood from my nosebleeds last night. Your throat tastes like blood? Well, no. Because, like, swallow. I'm not swallowing it, but, like, whenever I get a nosebleed, it, like, goes into my phlegm because I'm, like, congested. I mm. promise I'm not dying. <laughs> I promise I'm not dying. Maybe. <laughs> Come back to the next episode of NCA and see if there's a new host. What's up, guys? It's the Nerd Sheep. Oh, no. You're going to replace me with the Nerd Sheep. No, wait. Phoenix Gaming here. <laughs> I wish you'd been able to be an NCA. Do you want we, we will miss you, the Nerd Sheep, when yeah. you leave us. He was supposed to be a member of this. Yeah, thing. he was. The arms of an angel. No, I'm just sad. <laughs> We need to get hyped. This is the last episode. Oh, wait. I already have an idea for the next mini suit. Because basically, I think... Here's what I think we'll do, guys. I think we'll have two of these running at a time. One mini series one, which will probably be a kart racer, at least for a while. And then, hint, hint, I haven't run the game past Ben, but there's one I really want to do. Um, and it actually has a less... It'd be less episodes than this, I think. Or maybe equal. I don't know. Um, and then like our main one, which for a while is going to be Crash Bandicoot, because we just really need to record more episodes of it. But <laughs> mini series are just more fun to do. Yeah, they're shorter and. Stuff. Not to mention, I feel like we have enough Crash videos up right now to last for a while, because we have like four almost hours, five. Like we have five. like almost four hours of it, like up on NCA. So, you'll be fine. Oh, I thought that was last lap. That was the first time that happened to me. You pulled Nathan. You pulled Nathan. This is, these are long courses, though. Like, mm -hmm. That's why each episode is getting progressively longer. Yeah, like, Luigi's Circuit is so tiny compared to this. This course is great, though. It's fun to do ghosts on this course and see, like, what their um, paths are and stuff. Yeah. This oh, I hit someone. Not, this cup has not been kind to me. No. Come back, kid. Oh, crap. I'm going to actually lose. Some mistakes. I drifted too soon in the walls. Yeah. In the walls, no. they are angles. I don't know. In the walls, they are angles. <sighs> Thanks for clarifying the now, for now, now we have a long course. <laughs> have you seen that video where that person gets so unlucky on the bridge at the end? I think I showed it to you. Oh my god. Hey, I'm Daisy. <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> okay, okay, we're <laughs> Please don't kill us. Oh my god! <laughs> we're racing violently this, um... Uh, okay, no. We can't say that word on NCA. Which, by the way... Have. No, because that was the episode I s we scrapped. Oh, yeet. I'm sure we'll eventually end up saying that. Holy shit, it's Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Literally the first words ever said on the channel. You were like, I thought the first... 
I didn't swear immediately. I don't think that was the first words. It was. No. Well, said by us. Because the first words were technically, It's vicarious vision. No, because I think I said something and it was like, huh, first words on NCA. I don't know if it was that, but... I think that was like right after Holy shit, it's Crash Bandicoot. Is it going to happen to me on the bridge? Yay! <laughs> I intentionally ran into you. I was like, eh, if I knock him off the bridge, it'll be funny, but I doubt I will. I was like right at the end. This glove has taken a hold on me. <laughs> this glove? We should play Glover. God. We should play Super Meat Boy when it comes out on Switch. Wait, I think it already came out on Switch. Like, it just came out. Oh, man. Which, that's good. You need to be getting those high-profile like, indie games, like Stardew Valley, which they already had, um, Shovel Knight, um, Meat Boy. Like, they're doing really good at rounding out their library. And, guys, by the way, I'm not going to do Let's Playing, like, as my main thing, but I probably will do occasional Let's Plays. And I've already decided what the first one is, so I'll let you wonder what that is. It's gonna be fun. I teased it, like, in an anime thing game room back in, like, October. I know what it is. Yeah, you, you know what I'm it is. I'm gonna say it right now. Okay. Nah. Where'd my bananas go? Nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 goodbye. We didn't sing at all last episode. Why is the mountain, like... Humming. You know how they like have rings? Yeah. I was gonna say something really inappropriate, what the mountain was doing. It rhymes with humming. I'm sure you can guess what it is. I'll just leave it there. Summing? Like they're doing math? No. Oh. What? No, okay. Um. I feel it coming. Yeah. <laughs> You've been scared of gloves. Oh my god. <laughs> Ty, I beat you on your own track. How do you feel? It's not my track. It's Donkey Kong's. I always thought it was Funky Kong's. It's called DK Mountain. Why is the Funky Kong ghost here? It's Funky Kong's track. <laughs> Named after his... Wait, how are they related? Because they have the same last name, so obviously there's some history there. N64 Bowser Castle! Oh, my butt really hurts. Give me the... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite retro track in the game. And it's also my favorite Bowser's Castle ever. It's pretty cool. I think this is a great way to end the game, gonna mm -hmm. be honest. I wish that, like, there was more dynamic stuff in the background, though. Like, that's the... They need to bring this back for the next Mario Kart, because at the point now where they're, like, bringing back tracks multiple times, like SNES Rainbow Road, so it's possible to do. Also, that snipe was yeah. awesome. I want to see that... Like, imagine what they could do with this on, like, the Switch. With, like, all the anti-gravity and gliding and stuff. And this, this track would look so good on the Switch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it looked good when it came out, but it's kind of dated now. Yeah. Like, every time I fire up my Wii U, it looks more and more polygonal. Your Wii U? Yeah, because I play them on my Wii... I uh, play Wii games on my Wii U. I don't use that black Wii. <laughs> you don't like it? No. <laughs> Why did they market it as like it was better? It's worse! It should have been sold at a discount! And when it just won't let you wheelie for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I got someone with that? You're so far ahead of me. Eh? Not really. S 
silence. The sound of silence. Touch the sound of silence. The disturbed version is the only way to listen to that song. Hello, darkness, my friend. The Ethan Goble version is the only way to listen. Hey, look. Why did that homie be it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did that red shell come in on a green shell? Oh, I didn't have to do that? What? I I intentionally went in the lava so your red shell wouldn't hit me. Yeet! 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 And I didn't get a boost from that? Alright. We're off to a great, great start. A boost from what? Last lap in this mini series, man. Yeah. Yeah. Next one will probably be soon. When you flick it, and they're just like, no. Look at the flick at it. <laughs> but yeah, I have an idea for the next one, so put it in the comments if you can guess what it is, because I'm fairly certain I made it kind of obvious. But did we talk about it? We talked about it. And then I also said that. If I have it my way, we'll be doing another kart racer. It has like half as many cups, so. Awesome. Well, well, it has the same amount, except for half of them are mirror cups. Oh, so like half of them are dupe tracks? Yeah, and I don't think we'd do the dupe tracks, I think we'd just do the main versions. You know. Because the races are longer, for reasons. Which I said for like all two people who haven't figured out what I'm referring to at this point. It's Spy Fox. <laughs> it's a mini series. Oh no, that's not what I'm talking about. That ought to be a main. <laughs> It'll probably have less episodes than this, actually. <laughs> no, but we have like cool. half the time playing Go Fish. We should, like, just as a joke, make eight episodes of Go Fish. Like, just as, like, bumps. Look, it's Toad and Two Kongs. That sounds like a, uh, an adult movie. Alright. Well. That's it, two man. Two Kongs, one Toad. My palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Weak. Arms are heavy. There's vomit on Weeds. Your weeds weak. Weeds neek. I don't know. Weeds and eek. Oh, it's very heavy. He's nervous. And on the surface, he's... Oh, yeah, we're, not, we're not rapping. Okay. We're right. No, okay. No! When people misspell rapping, they want to be a rapper. And they say they want to be a raper. That's hilarious. That's awful. That's funny. Anyway, with that, that's the last words we're going to let be in the main part of this video. Thank you for watching this mini series, the first complete series on NCA. Yes. Yeah. So make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. All this is pre-recorded, by the way, so it'll go up on a different day, probably. Yeah. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, make sure to um, subscribe to our individual channels and watch our videos. I'm Adam Ethan. He's been Tennyson One. And so we're signing off for the series. Yeah. Yeah, man. Feels good to be complete. See this game in five years. Five years? <laughs> we played it like two years ago. Probably in the Retro Gaming Thumb will do it if we do another one of those, which I think we should. Yeah, we should. And We and should redo those. Like, and just redo and 12 and hours of it. Well, I think we just do it completely different with a different lineup. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye! Bye.